Hi everyone! Today we'll be looking at some tips and tricks for the different features of Edmodo. Right now I'm logged in as a student. When you first log in, you're going to see the home page and it has all classes included. You need to make sure that over here on the left hand side under my classes, you are clicking through each of your different classes and checking on your assignments there or for any postings from your teachers, okay? Anytime you need to see Ms. Cordero's assignments, for example, you click Ms. Cordero. And when you want to go back to your home page where you can see all of your classes, you would click Home. Once you are in a certain teacher's classroom on Edmodo, you'll be able to see any assignments you have coming up on the right over here. So, if your assignments are late, they will have a little late sign and when it was due. Make sure you're working on those first so you can get them all in. Now, if you click each assignment individually, you'll see exactly what it is. For example, this one, getting used to Edmodo, six questions, 15 minutes, and your teacher will have given you instructions on how to complete it. It's very important to make note if there's a time limit on anything you're going to be working on. Usually those are quizzes. Make sure you don't start a quiz if you're not going to be there for that entire time to finish it. Other assignments, such as this one, you, it does not have a time limit. So you'll be able to log in and read it as many times as you want. Sometimes there will be an attachment on the bottom. Make sure you click it and it'll open up anything your teacher wants you to see that you might need for your assignment. Now, once you're ready to submit your assignment, there's a few different things you can do. Here where it says create or where it says attach. If you write your assignment in Microsoft Word, and you can save it and just attach it right here where it says file from computer. Now, you can also click where it says create and create it from either Word document, PowerPoint, or Excel, or you can just click text response and you'll be able to type in your assignment right here. Once your assignments have been submitted, your teacher will grade them and you'll have your grades back soon. Now, if you need to message your teacher for any reason, make sure you are messaging them up here in the messages tab. Once you click it, you'll be able to type your message to who you want to send it to. So if I'm sending my message to Ms. Castellano, I would start typing her last name and it would pop up here. Then I can type my message, whatever I need, any question I may ask, and press send. Going back to our home page, if you notice down here, there's a button that says go to planner, and there's also a planner tab up here in the top bar. If we click go to planner, we will see all of our assignments for every class. We'll see anything that's overdue for all of our classes, and we'll see all of our other assignments that are coming up on the due date piled together. So. If we have certain things that are all due the same day, they'll be piled together. This is a great resource so that you can see everything you should be completing each day for all of your classes together. That way you don't have to be clicking every single class to figure out exactly what it is you should be doing. Make sure you're using the planner so that you can put first things first and be proactive with your virtual learning. If you have any other questions, boys and girls, please message your teacher again at the Messages tab. Have a great day, Stingrays!